Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It's me, Gina, and if it's the first time you're stopping by, I am a wife and mother, and I like to cook fresh meals for my family and post the videos here on YouTube. And today it is a sunny, finally, uh, Wednesday morning, so I'm going to pop some beef stew in the crock pot, and I thought I would make a really quick video to show you our favorite recipe. So, since we are in a hurry, I'm just gonna jump right into the ingredients. So we are gonna be using one pound of beef stew meat. You can use two in this recipe, but we just prefer more vegetables to meat. So I'm using one pound, and I will go in and cut these into smaller chunks. We're gonna use a couple of cloves of garlic, one whole onion. We're gonna be using, um, this is four, five, six, this is seven small red potatoes, but you could use like two or three big ones or really just whatever you want. We're gonna use two cups of baby carrots. Did you do potty? Sorry, we're potty training. Uh, we are gonna be using a couple of uh, ribs of celery, some Worcestershire sauce, 32 ounces of beef stock, and then to season it up, we're gonna be using a can of tomato paste, and we will use the whole thing, some basil, oregano, and fresh parsley, and we are gonna be using, of course, salt and pepper. And then later on in the day when I get home from work, to thicken it up, we will use some flour, um, and then we'll add in some corn and some peas. So, being that it's a weekday, I am not going to do a time lapse. I will go ahead and get all the veggies chopped up and then pre-measure all the rest of the ingredients and explain what I'm doing as I dump them into the crock pot. So, I will be back in a flash. Alright people, we're going to have to do this fast because we are in the middle of three temper tantrums that have happened since... I was on the camera right last. So I have the beef that I cut each piece about in half. So that's one pound of, uh, of beef stew meat. I have one onion and I slivered them into these type of slices. This is two stalks of celery just sliced. And then I ended up actually only doing five potatoes because it was a lot, they were pretty big. Um, and then there's the two cups of carrots. I think my camera is dirty, hang on. I'm going to be adding in, she's crying again the entire can of tomato paste, the entire box of beef stock, and then we have uh, one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of oregano. We do not need basil. I don't know why I said that earlier. Um, and then this is one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper and two cloves of garlic minced. And I will be back in a second because my child is spawn of Satan. Okay, so I plopped our whole can of tomato paste in the crock pot. I added two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce to the spice mix. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in there. And then, um, just to kind of get any residue, I'm just gonna add a little beef stock to this cup and swirl it around. And she's crying again. So we are going to add this entire contents of beef stock and go ahead and mix this up. And then I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours. And we will be back and hopefully my child will be good. At least one of the two is being nice. I have twins in case you guys don't know. And we are potty training and they are not taking naps how they're supposed to. So it has been an interesting few weeks. So. Sorry for the lack of videos, and sorry the ones that I do post have screaming from the exorcism of Emily Rose in the background, so. In any case, this is about what it looks like. I'm going to get it more well incorporated, as I mentioned, eight hours on low, and I will be back at the end of the day when I am home to finish it off. So, have a nice few minutes here. Okay, so it has been a full work day, and I came home and I've opened up my crock pot, and this is what it looks like. Um... I gotta find my wooden spoon. Here we go. Um, it is not thick, as you can see. So, what I've done is, oh, but it smells so good. I have mixed up a quarter cup of flour with a quarter cup of water, and then I've got a cup of peas measured out, and then I will measure out a cup of corn. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this thickened up and finished up for our dinner. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Maybe not. Let's mix that in. You, the reason you don't just add the flour right back in there is because it will be clumpy. As you can hear, the girls have really not improved since I left for work this morning. 
terrible twos was really terrible in our house. Starting to thicken up a little bit. Just want to melt it in there. See, it's starting to thicken up. And then, hang on, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Sorry about that, I just wanted to get this last little bit out of the cup. At this point too, it's good to taste it for salt. Uh, I added one teaspoon in when I initially started the cooking because I like to taste and see like how much the potatoes absorb. Um, but this is a huge pot of stew. So I mean, you might have to go all the way up to two teaspoons depending on the type of salt that you're using. So I will taste for salt and add that in. Um, I'm just gonna dump in our peas. Let's measure out a cup of corn. That's about a cup. I usually use frozen corn for this, but I didn't have any, so I'm using canned corn. Go ahead and let this mix in, and then we'll probably simmer this for another 15 minutes. Usually I do biscuits um, with beef stew, uh, just the, like, the tube, like Pillsbury kind, because um, nobody has time to make homemade biscuits on a weekday, and I tend to do crock pots on weekdays, so when I come home on a busy day like today, I don't have to worry about cooking something. So, all right, I'm gonna throw the lid back on this baby and let it go for about another 15 minutes just to warm uh, the frozen peas and let it thicken up, and I will be back with the finished product. Hi. Okay, this is our finished beef stew. Looks good. The girls are eating yogurt because they probably won't eat this, but I do have a little bit cooling on a plate to try to force feed them some veggies. And then uh, let's see how the taste test goes. It's really hot, but really good. Good as always, this is a, a staple in our home. We make this kind of frequently throughout the year. It's healthy, it's inexpensive, it makes a big pot, and it is comforting. Uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a couple of links here to some videos I think you might enjoy, and I hope you can take a minute and check them out. So thank you so much for stopping by. Good night. Good night. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, guys.